Welcome to the next lecture of Pandas tutorial and in this particular lecture we will be understanding about how we can work on a real world data set using a excel sheet or a csv file ok csv file stands for comma separated ok so we will be using this file and we will be working on such data sets so let me show you the data we are working on. We are working on this particular data which is a iris data set having four columns that is sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. Right. So this is a predefined data set which we have downloaded from internet and we are using this particular data for our working. So how to use this data for that first we have to load this data and to load it we'll use read csv file since it is a csv file so we use function csv so read csv okay so then we have to give the path of our data set so let me give it the path this data path will be according to your systems only So the name of my data is iris data set dot csv. Okay. So here we go. Let's check our data. We need a function data dot head. Okay. So this will print your data. It will automatically print the first five entries of your data. As you can see the data we have over here. It's printing just these five starting values. Okay. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But what if you want more entries to see for that you just need to set an argument the by default argument is 5 if you set 10 then it will print first 10 values as simple as that okay. Now we'll check the information of our data set right so df dot info info is used to check the information so it's telling us that we have four columns right and we have total 150 150 entries so we have total rows equals to 150 and columns equal to 4 and this is the name of our column sepal length sepal width petal length petal width right and we have no null values in our data set also we can check the description of our data set that is the stats involved in each column so for that we'll use df dot now we want the description so the function name is describe as simple as that so here we go now we have four columns and it's telling the basic stats of our columns so we have the count that is the total number of entries we have in each column mean of our column values standard deviation minimum value and these are the median values 50 percent in that is the 25th percentile 50th percent uh, 50th percentile and 0.75 percentile so this is printing the values and this m2 value is median value right and that's the maximum value so it's telling the basic stat for all the columns in which we have numeric values and in all these four columns we have numeric values so it's giving us the statistic information of these columns right now we can select particular data in this column also as we did in the numpy tutorials for that what we need to do is for example i want the values from the column sepal width and i just want five first five values so for that what we need to do is we'll say data frame now which column we want this sepal width column right and then the total number of entries we want so if we want first five values so 0 to 5 excluding 5 right so it will print first four values so let me just show it to you okay so this this is our data df dot head 10 okay so this is our data and you can see the first five values of sepal width columns is 3.5 3.5 3.0 3.2 3.1 and 3.6 right similarly we can do this for different functions also right we can get it in the form of a data frame also so for that you just 
need to copy this and what you need to do extra is just add brackets over here also and it will print your data in the form of a data frame okay now if uh, this I was talking about a single column what if I want data with respect to two columns right so for that let's just copy this again okay now I'm talking about two columns so let it be sepal width and petal width so petal width and if I want first five entries I can also use this colon 5 or I can simply use head and it will print the first five values from these two columns okay also I can fetch my values using the rows and columns for that I'll again use the function I log that we have we did before so first we'll mention the rows so for so suppose I want first 10 rows so from start till 10 and I want these two columns sepal width and petal width so sepal width is column number one this is column number two so if we want column one and two we have to mention the columns one colon three that is till three but excluding three right so what we'll do is we'll say I want my values from 1 till 3 so it will print sepal width and petal length so sepal width and petal length what if I want this column and this column that is sepal width and petal width so for that what I'll do is I'll say column 1 and column 3 right so that's the difference if I am using slicing then it will take the continuous column numbers but if I want the column numbers randomly then I have to mention the column numbers I require so I have said I want column number one and column number three so let's check it so here we go we are getting sepal width and petal width right so this is how we work on a data frame we have learned that how we can define our data set how to create a data frame how to get the information about the data set, extracting the data description, selecting a particular data using rows, column name and similar ways. Right. So this was all in this lecture. In the next coming section, we'll be learning about how we can deal with the missing values in our Pandas data frame. So till now, best of luck and keep following.